Good morning, happy Purim. This morning we read from the Parshas B'Shalach, the fighting of Amalek, when Amalek attacked the Jewish people in the desert. And Moshe said to Yehoshua, B'charlono on Hashem, choose men for us to go fight to Amalek. Medrash tells us that Amalek found, astrologically, people who were destined to live throughout the year. They could not be killed. Moshe said, do the same thing for us. Find people who won't die this year. So in essence, it was a battle. They were fighting each other, but no one was dying. And in fact, the Pesach says, Vayachalosh es Amalek v'asamal l'fichorov. They weakened them with the sword. They didn't actually kill, them, kill anyone. And when Moshe raised his hands, the Jews were, were on top, and when they went down, Amalek was on top. What's the purpose of this war? Nobody was getting killed. The answer is that with Amalek, it's entirely a struggle. Always, day in and day out. Every generation, it is still a, a fight against Amalek. Both the external people who are out to get us and the internal Yetzirah that tries to undermine all of our growth, tries to undermine our mitzvahs and tries to keep us from serving Hashem. We find that in the Megillah, the Jewish people were not just saved miraculously, but the response to the original letter that you may kill the Jews was that the Jews can fight back. Because that's what Purim is about, that's what being a Jew is about. Fighting back, taking every day the opportunity to stand up and say, I'm going to serve Hashem, I'm going to do the right thing. That's what Purim is about, that's why we read about the fight with Amalek. Remember, Moshe sat on a rock, Hashem is our rock. If you use that as your support system, you can overcome and remain on top, and you will eventually win the war.